أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس وما يعقلها إلا العالمون بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا ما بعد Today we're going to do one of the uh, sayings of the Quran that is now commonly quoted Surah Az-Zumar verse 9 Allah says in the Quran قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Say, does the one who know, is he the same as the one who doesn't know? قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ in this rhetorical simple question, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes the superiority of the one who has ilm over the one who does not have ilm. Do you think they are the same, the alim and the jahil? Do you think they are the same, the one who knows la ilaha illallah, the one who rejects? Do you think they are the same? And this concept of making the one who has ilm superior, of blessing ilm, of praising ilm, this is a standard motif throughout the entire Qur'an. In fact, one can even say that the Qur'an came down to teach us ilm. The purpose of the Qur'an is to educate. And that's why the first verse is what? Iqara, learn, educate. And of course, the primary education and the primary ilm is the purpose of life and the purpose and knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Qur'an praises ilm and the people of ilm from the beginning to the end. Allah says in the Qur'an, يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَةً Allah is going to raise the ranks of those who have iman and those who have knowledge amongst you. Knowledge, by simply having knowledge, your ranks are going to go up. Yarfa'illah. Allah is going to increase their ranks. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala considers the people of knowledge in the same category as even the angels. In the verse in Surah Ali Imran, in which Ibn al-Qayyim says, this is the highest praise that Allah has given the people of knowledge, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself puts them in the verse right after the angels shahid allahu annahu la ilaha illa huwa wal malaikatu wa ulul ilmi qa'iman bil qist the malaika and the people of knowledge along with allah they all testify to la ilaha illa allah so allah himself testified on their behalf and he praised the people of knowledge in fact our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his own status, Allah said, the primary cause of it is because of the knowledge Allah gave him. Yes indeed, our Prophet Sallallahu is the best human being and the most perfect human being. And he has many things we do not have. But perhaps the number one thing that caused him to rise to that level is what? Allah says in the Quran, وَعَلَّمَكَ مَا لَمْ تَكُنْ تَعْلَمْ وَكَانَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكَ Allah taught you what you did not know and because of that Allah's fadl upon you is immense Allah's blessings upon you is immense why and that's why Allah says he found you you didn't have that knowledge and he taught you and Allah Azza wa Jal mentions in the Quran you did not know ya Rasulullah you did not know what is the book and what is knowledge and iman until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught you. So through ilm, Allah azza wa jal raised the ranks of even our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's why Allah mentions the Prophets and he mentions it was through ilm and through hikmah. For example, in one verse Allah says, we gave Dawood knowledge and hikmah. We gave Sulaiman faham, fafahamnaha Sulaiman. We gave the family of Ibrahim wisdom. The family of Ibrahim, meaning all of the Prophets of Allah were given in wisdom. Therefore, as we're talking about all of these phrases in the Quran, it is important that we memorize and we understand one simple phrase, and that is Allah saying in the Quran, Azza says in the Quran, Inna ma the only group amongst Allah's creation that can truly have the khashya of Allah are those people who have ilm. 
إنما exclusivity. The only people who can achieve the level of khashya, the level of fear and taqwa that is worthy of Allah are the people of ilm. Now, somebody can say, but I'm not an alim. The response, the ilm here is not the alim of the faqih, of the mufassir. The ilm here is not the one who gives fatwa and mufti. No, the ilm here is the knowledge of who is Allah and how to worship Allah. And that's accessible to every single Muslim. When Allah is praising ilm, the ilm here is the ilm that leads to the worship of Allah. The ilm here is the basic knowledge. We are not talking about the faqih and the mufassir and the alim. That is good and that is praiseworthy. But the primary ilm that Allah praises is the simple ilm of knowing who is Allah and then following up that knowledge in the worship of Allah. And that is accessible to every single person. And you know the evidence for this? The very verse that I quoted at the beginning. Surah Az-Zumar verse 9. Allah says, هَلْ يَسْتَوَ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Is it the same? the one who has ilm, the one who doesn't. Do you know the very phrase that this verse occurs in? What's the beginning of this verse? Who can tell me? It's a quiz quickly. Who can? I know Shaykh Ustaz Who can tell me? Other than Ustad and the Hufad. What's the beginning of this verse? One person, please. Save the whole jama'ah. Or else I'll have to have the Ustad save. One person. What is the beginning of the very verse? Where are the people of ilm? <laughs> Yalla, Ustad. أَمَّنْ هُوَ قَانِتٌ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ سَاجِدًا وَقَائِمًا Allah gave the example of the one praying to Hajjud. Allah said the example of the one praying to Hajjud throughout the night and fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then Allah says is it the same the one who knows the one who doesn't? So this ilm is not the ilm of advanced fiqh. It's not the ilm of advanced tafsir. It's not the ilm of deriving usul al-fiqh and giving fatwa. That is praiseworthy. Don't get me wrong. That's very praiseworthy. But the ilm that Allah is immediately talking about is basic ilm. The basic ilm of who is Allah and what is Islam and how to worship Allah. And then following that ilm into, into what? Amal. And that's why Allah says the one who prays tahajjud that is the one of ilm, subhanallah. Look at this. The one who understands, hey, I, let, me, let me sacrifice a little bit of my sleep. Let me pray to hajjud. Then Allah says, is it the same? The one who knows versus the one who doesn't know. So real ilm is that which leads to the amal, the leads to the actual worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you don't have that type of ilm and you memorize facts and you know stuff, that's not the ilm that is praiseworthy. In fact, Allah criticizes superficial ilm that does not lead to Amal. In the verse in the Quran, Allah says, They know the outer mechanisms of all of this world. They know how to get to Mars and come back. They know how to get to the moon. They don't understand the atom. They understand subatomic particles but they have no clue about the hereafter. Allah criticizes those who have a superficial ilm without getting to the soul. That ilm, of what use is it? Who cares if you win the Nobel Prize in physics and you don't save your own soul? What, of what benefit was that? However, the best is to combine. I'm not criticizing secular knowledge. The best, you have ilm of Allah and you have ilm of this world as well. That is the real muttaqi. And the more you learn and the more you put into amal, the more Allah Azza wa Jal will raise your ranks. So as we do, are doing all of these discussions, one action item for all of you, dear brothers and sisters. One action item. Make sure that you, inshallah, after this month is over, associate with ilm and learn the basics of this religion. Learn the Quran that you're reciting. Learn the basics of fiqh. Learn the basics of how to worship Allah. We're not talking about advanced stuff, just the very basic. Not everybody's going to be an alim. But don't remain a jahil. Simple as that. You don't have to become an alim. It's not necessary. It's not wajib. But you don't remain a jahil. Learn what you can. Attend halaqat. Listen to lectures. And then whatever ilm that you get, put it into amal. And if you do so, yarfa'illahu alladheena amanu minkum walladheena utul ilma darajat. May Allah make us amongst those people. And inshallah we'll continue tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. وكذاك نسألك الثبات فإنها فتن تجي بالشيب للشبان يا رب واختم بالتقى أعمالنا حتى نساق لروضة وجناني